In recent years, researchers have found new species of dinosaurs that have given them a better understanding of life in the prehistoric world. These discoveries have helped us to better understand how these creatures lived and how they evolved. Nowadays, around 50 new species of dinosaurs are found each year. So today, we'll be taking a look at these five recent dinosaur discoveries. Canada has yielded the heaviest Tyrannosaurus rex specimen. The biggest and oldest Tyrannosaurus rex has been found in Canada. The Tyrannosaurus rex was first discovered by paleontologists in Canada in 1991. The dinosaur was nicknamed Scotty by the paleontologists, as the only drink available to celebrate the discovery of the Tyrannosaurus rex was a bottle of scotch, and since then the name stuck. However, it took over a decade before paleontologists could painstakingly extract 65% of the remains of Scotty, officially known as RSM P2523.8, from the sandstone that covered it which was headed by the University of Alberta Scott Pearsons, a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Biological Sciences. The discovery was issued in the Anatomical Record Journal. Prehistoric Canada was home to Scotty over 60 million years ago where it roamed and reached a massive weight of almost 20,000 pounds, which in comparison is a little over twice the weight of an average male African bush elephant. This makes it the biggest Tyrannosaurus rex ever found. Also from the research carried out on the remains of Scotty, paleontologists found out the dinosaur passed away at around the age of 30, which is older than the normal life expectancy of a Tyrannosaur. Signs of a broken rib, a broken tailbone, and an infection in its jaw goes to show the Tyrannosaurus rex did not have it all rosy during its lifetime. It most likely got into many battles during its life, something it would have wanted to avoid as an injury to such a large creature could have been disastrous. Before the discovery of Scotty, Sue, an 18,000 pound Tyrannosaurus rex, was found in 1990 in South Dakota and was once considered the biggest. According to researchers, Scotty happens to be more robust in size and is around 42 feet long, as compared to other Tyrannosauruses which vary in size, as some are lankier than others which makes Scotty the largest of the Rexes. More research is being carried out on Scotty by paleontologists to find detailed information about the dinosaur. The remains of Scotty is currently at the Royal Museum in Canada. Higher oxygen levels help dinosaurs to flourish. At the Goldschmidt Geochemistry Conference in Barcelona in 2019, scientists presented their findings on a new method for measuring levels of gas in early rocks. This technique showed a leap in the level of gas by a third in a period of 3 million years, and is considered to be very rapid in geological terms as stated by the lead researcher Professor Morgan Schaller. The oxygen levels rose from 15 to 19% within the 3 million year period, as compared to today's 21% of oxygen in the atmosphere. Around that same period the CO2 level reduced. The researchers believe the increase in oxygen may have helped the sauropods and the Chindiosaurus to flourish in North America and other places. The new technique developed by the researchers releases tiny amounts of gas confined in ancient carbonate minerals channeled directly into a mass spectrometer which measures their composition. Professor Morgan Schaller and his team decided to test three samples which were collected from the Colorado Plateau and the Newark Basin. Recreations have estimated these lands formed around 600 to 620 miles, or 950 to 1000 kilometers apart on the supercontinent Pangaea. When the samples reached the lamp, it was confirmed that the majority of these had oxygen and this was confirmed when the rocks were dated by measuring radioactive decay found in the samples. According to Professor Morgan, the first appearance of dinosaurs the Chindosaurus in North America happened at the peak of the oxygen, and followed next with the sauropods. He concluded that while they can't state whether it was a worldwide advancement, the dinosaurs didn't ascend to dominating the ecological in the tropics until after the end of the Triassic Annihilation. He also said the changing environment 215 million years ago was right for their evolutionary diversification. However, he noted that the oxygen levels may not have been the only factor for the dinosaurs' advancements. 
Chindosaurus was an upstanding, meat-eating dinosaur almost a metre in height, and around two metres long. It was found broadly in North America, and originated from the North American tropics, and initially found in the Petrified Forest National Park. The sauropod showed up not long after and laid claim to being the biggest land creatures ever to have lived. Lice-filled dinosaur feathers Lice is one of those insects any living creatures would not like to have encountered, as they are parasites and can cause damage to their host. Even as terrifying and daunting as dinosaurs were in the prehistoric time, it didn't stop them from having their dominance unsettled by louse-like insects as new researchers found out. Researchers have found lice-like parasites attached to a dinosaur's feathers. This is why they are inspecting amber fossils that date back to around 100 million years. According to the co-author of the research, Dr. Chung Kung Si from Capital Normal University in China, this is the first recorded case of ancient lice-like parasites flourishing on the feathers and hairs of larger animals. One of the feathers even gives indication of being nibbled. The research team found encased in two pieces of amber small insect nymphs, each under 0.2mm in length, and they were spread across a pair of feathers. The lice-like insects may not actually be lice as their link is unknown. However, they do resemble the modern lice in certain features like the wingless bodies, and the large mandibles for chewing but have different antennae and leg claws. Initially, the research team assumed the examined feathers were those of early birds, but Xing Yu, a fossil feather expert and also a co-author of the research, is of the opinion they were really from non-avian dinosaurs. According to the investigation of the two feathers which were 12.7mm and 13.6mm long, the research team proposed they were probably going to have originated from two kinds of dinosaur, one of which may have been a bird-like theropod. Although the team feels there is a possibility the two distinct feathers may be from the same species, this discovery shows how parasites have lived for over 100 million years, moving from a host going into extinction to another species. However, there is little known about the evolution of parasites, as researchers would need more prehistoric remains to construct a chronology of their evolving bodies. Bones of a new species of herbivorous dinosaur found in Brazil The skeletons of three well-preserved newfound types of herbivorous dinosaur have been dug up in Brazil, and were announced in a press conference on the 21st of November 2018. The bones were originally discovered in 2012 at a site in southern Brazil, and were given the name Maracolum Itagi. The Maracolum was one of the first set of dinosaurs that walked the earth around 225 million years ago, and this would have been in the early age of the Triassic period. This dinosaur was small in size as compared to the later giants. It walked on two legs with a height of around 5 feet and a length of 11 feet, weighing around 224 pounds. According to scientists, the way the dinosaurs were found in closeness gives the earliest proof of social conduct in dinosaurs. Out of the three skeletons found, one head was lost alongside part of its neck. However, the other two were almost intact, with one still as it was when it passed away. Macrocolon wandered South America when the tremendous supercontinent called Pangaea was still together, before the landmass separated which was simply beginning to isolate to Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. One of the major variations between the macrocolon and all other known seropod morpha can be found in the skull. Another distinguishing feature is that the macrocolon walks on two feet, unlike the sauropods that walks on four. Also, macrocolon had an elongated neck as compared to the early sauropods which did not. Comparing the elongation of the neck of macrocolon with the 8 million year Brazilian sauropods, its fourth neck vertebra is more than twice as long. The discovery of this prehistoric creature sheds more light into the transition of sauropod morpha from being a flesh-eating dinosaur to becoming a four-legged, 120 feet long, small-headed dinosaur, with a very long neck and large body. New dog-sized dinosaur species found in Australia A new species of dinosaur called Weewarasaurus has been discovered in an opal mine in Weewara, close to Lightning Ridge Town in Australia's outbank. 
The fossil found in the mine is of a reptile the size of a dog that walked on its hind legs, and existed around 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Weewarasaurus belongs to the group of dinosaurs known as ornithopods, which are known for eating plants and having beaks with serrated teeth. Ornithopods were abundant in lightning ridge in prehistoric times, and it's believed they moved in packs to protect themselves from harm. The fossil was originally found and excavated by miners in 2013, and this was in a mine in Weewara. The fossils, alongside other rough-shaped opals, were then sold in a bag to Mike Poden, an Adelaide-based opal dealer. Poden recognised the fossil was trapped in a blue opal and separated it from the rest. He tried to sell the remaining opals through a runner, but couldn't so he decided to go through each opal in detail. He would then find a smaller piece of bone smaller with sockets. He realised he had two pieces from the same jawbone. Poben later donated the fossil to the Australian Opal Centre after he showed the fossil to Phil Bell, a paleontologist who knew the worth of the fossil. The Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge houses the numerous collections of opalised fossils in the world. The Weewarasaurus is part of the almost 20 discovered dinosaurs in Australia and the fourth discovered within the region since 2015. The three other dinosaurs recently discovered are Savannosaurus, which is a sauropod, Cunbarosaurus an ankylosaur, and Dilcovosaur which is another ornithopod. Unlike the current state of Lightning Ridge which is dusty, dry and filled with little vegetation, the region was a lush green haven at the time the Weewarasaurus lived in the mid-Cretaceous period. Bell, alongside his research team, is currently working on a new specimen encased in opals, and may result in the discovery of a new species in years to come. So what do you think of these five recent dinosaur discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.